Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in the new Dead Garden game. The game is not well optimized right now uh, at this uh, current state. Right now I'm using an i7 uh, 4790K for my CPU. I have 16, 16 gig of RAM and I have a 1070. I have another computer that I did some tests with uh, an AMD um, GPU, same processor. And the GPU is the RX 580. So I did a couple of tests and I will tell you what to change. So first of all, we will start in the game. And after that, we will go in the config file because we have more options that we can change in it. Okay. So let's start with the graphic. First of all, I'm playing full HD right now. But for sure, if you have a laptop, low end computer or an old computer, you should lower this, like go something with 720p. Uh, it will help you a lot because right now it's, it's, it's crazy. I have like a... Uh, with all the changes that I did now, I have my 140 FPS, but before I had like 80 at medium, so it was not that great. And I have a high refresh rate screen, so uh, really important to do uh, those changes. Make sure that you're playing full screen. I saw a lot of drop with window full screen and window mode, so play full screen. Unlock your VSync and put unlimited for your frame rate because you want to see uh, the improvement right now. Because uh, sometimes, yeah, you can lock your FPS at 60, uh, it will go well, but now you will fight and after that you will go, oh shit, I just lost like, I was at 40 when I was fighting. So when you do some tests like that, make sure yeah, that you unlock everything. So let's start. Resolution scale, this one is the last resort. After all the changes that you will do in the, in the game and in the config file, if you're still struggling with your FPS, you will need to change this one, but you will lose a lot of image quality. And don't go under 90 because after that you will see some crazy blurriness, uh, pixels and stuff like that. So this one is really like last hope. Post-processing, I'm playing at medium, but for sure if you have a low-end computer, put it at low. I saw 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. So uh, you, can, you can like gain a lot of FPS with this one. But it's not major if you compare with like uh, shadows, effects or foliage. But uh, still, you can improve it. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at medium. I don't really like the low in this game. Uh, honestly, when you look at uh, the enemy and <laughs> you see stuff moving and it's the aliasing and it's not an enemy, it's kind of pain in the ass. So I'm playing at medium. It's okay. But uh, yeah, for sure, again, if you have a low-end computer, put this one at low. Same thing with view distance. Really important in those kind of games you want to see far. But uh, I tried I and with my video card and I lost like 15 FPS. So I'm playing medium right now. But all the low-end old computer play at low. Effect, really important. This one, you will not see a lot of increase when you just walk uh, in the map. But when you will fight and you a lot of effects is happening, uh, you will see that you're losing a lot of FPS, a lot of drops. So put this one at low and you will get some more stable FPS. Shadow, this one, pretty good. 3 to 4 FPS. This one, you really need to put it at low. Uh, right now, the shadow is taking a lot of resources. And uh, yeah, put this one at low, really important for any computer, even, even if you have like a 1060 or 1070, uh, this one is really important. Texture, this one really depends on your video card. If you have 3 gig and more, you can play at high or even very high. If you have 2 gig, play at medium. If you have less than 2 gig, just put it at low. Foliage, this one too is really important in this game because of the way the map... Um, is is done um put this one at low i saw two to three or even if sometimes three to four fps for each bracket so this one really important put it at low when you finish that make sure that you apply i didn't click apply but anyway it's not that uh it's not a problem uh, after that we need to find the config file of the game so go where uh you have your c drive users the name of your computer app data local the exit save config windows um, no editor and open game user setting so all the setting that you see right now at the top of the file is the setting that we change already in the game you want to scroll a little bit and go until you see sorry here temporal anti-aliasing so this one should be at false motion blur you don't want to use it put it at false depth of field same thing false uh, boost object view distance false to ultra quality shadow for sure you put this one at false um, this one should be at zero zero by default 
environment shadow quality uh, same thing zero ambient occlusion zero movable shadow quality zero you want to remove all those stuff uh, honestly a lot of them are currently removed uh, in the beta i had like a lot of number here or some true uh, but uh, right now with the new release of the game i didn't have any issue here but make sure that everything is removed okay uh, after that uh, v-sync everything is good there frame limit we already did it and the last one is this one use hdr display output make sure that this one is at false uh, i can give you an example uh, <laughs> on no man's sky this one was at true in my file i remove it for false and i got like 25 fps boost so that was pretty amazing my my monitor is not even hdr so i don't want to use it uh so make sure this one is at false really important so that's about it guys by the way if you don't see the app data like i uh said you need to make sure that you see all the hidden file on your windows okay really important because sometimes your app data can be hidden on windows that's why some people don't see it uh yeah so that's about it if you have any question post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can post me the question like what kind of issue that you have currently with the game and I will help you. So last thing, make sure that you subscribe the channel. It really helps the channel to grow. Uh, it's something really important to me. And that's about it. Peace, guys.